Hi friends, welcome to episode 19. Where we're gonna talk about book resources you can use. And our resident podcast partner, expert, strategic communication person, she's my everything. Uh, Melanie is actually gonna take us through that. So hello, Melanie, welcome. Hello, welcome. how are you, Janine? Good, good. So I'm really excited that you're gonna show us or talk to us or share with us some great information about book resources, some free, some cheap. I'm excited because I can now actually read books. You know, up to this <laughs> point, it's always been, you know, for research or for school, you know, and now I actually get to read for enjoyment. So I know exactly what you mean. To when I was Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. So no, when I was working towards my bachelor's degree a few years ago, um, right before I graduated, I kept getting that question. What are you going to do once you graduate? And my answer was read whatever I want <laughs> instead exactly. of just textbooks. So exactly. yeah, that's um, I'm a voracious reader. I come from a long line of voracious readers and luckily um, a long line of carpenters because they've all had to build bookshelves in the in our homes. My my grandmother, uh, my mom's mom, she was a huge reader. My dad's mom was a teacher and huge reader. And so um, when they passed on, we all inherited tons and tons of books. My mom, um, we literally at my family home, there's a bookshelf in every room and um, full. And she instilled that in us three girls, both my sisters. Um, ha I, I refuse to help them move because it's usually a hundred boxes of heavy books. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> and we're all three homeschoolers, which you know, comes with lots of books. So lots of books. Um, yes. And I know that you share that love with me. We, uh, we are both voracious readers. So this yes. podcast is for those people who love to read, but don't love to buy new books. And so I've got tons of awesome tips. Yes, I was so excited when we were talking about the different podcasts ideas and, and you had mentioned, hey, I have all these resources. And I thought, you know, I'm old school. I do the hardcover and the paperbacks because I, I'm so used to being in school or being the yeah. professor or doing the research. So I'm a highlighter. You know, well, now that I'm reading more fiction, well, I don't have to highlight anything. I can just right. actually enjoy it. So I thought, like you, I have boxes and boxes of books, except they're textbooks and stuff I don't need anymore. Right. And um, so now I'm falling in love with audiobooks and and uh, some different, you know, ebooks and whatnot. But anyway, I won't jump ahead because I know you're going to talk about that kind of stuff. Yes, we you're have resources for um, books in print and also audiobooks and ebooks. So, yes, we have awesome. I have resources for all those. OK, good. So. Where do you want to start, Melanie? Let's start with the good old fashioned hard copy. And okay. um, who doesn't love to have a real book in their hands? I know some people are real traditionalists and they just they have to have that hard copy in their hand. Um, I'm that way when it comes to certain types of books. Um, I, I will not sit down and read a book like a novel. I won't sit down and, and just sit there and turn pages like I. I okay. also inherited this from my mom. I can't sit still. So I, if I'm listening to something, just like an entertaining story, it's an audio book. Um, and I do it while I'm cleaning or washing dishes or, you know, cooking or whatever, something mindless, you know, I'll listen to an audio book. But for hardcover books, um, I'm going to start out with some free resources. And I would be amiss if I did not mention the local public library, of course. If you are not taking advantage of your local library resources. You are in error, my friend. Um, <laughs> Janine, do you have your library card? I do. I should get it out as proof. But yes, I do have my library card. <laughs> I actually don't know where my library card is because I actually have the number memorized. <laughs> oh. That's how often I use my library card. I know the number by heart. So um, yes, the local public library of course, everybody knows how to use a library. It's actually super easy to go online for, I'm talking about Virginia Beach, but I know most libraries yeah. have um, yeah. online systems as well, where you can log in and reserve books. And then um, a lot of places are doing drive-through pickup for books right now. So it's even easier. Um, but you can also, uh, as well as, um, you know, hard, hardcover paperbacks, like 
Right, the word right. I'm looking for the ones you hold in your hand. You can get ebooks and audiobooks from libraries as well. As well, also, do you know that a lot of churches have libraries where they loan books out? I did not know that. Shame on yes. me. Since I go to church, <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot of churches do have libraries where, and of course, it's going to be you know religious materials, but. There's a lot of resources there as well. Um, there are also some um, some little things called the little free library, which are wow. tiny little, um, they kind of look like big birdhouses with a door on the front that latches wow. and they're full of books. And what you can do, they're called little free library. And Janine, you have a website. Yep. Oh, there it is. Yes. Littlefreelibrary.org. You can go on and find if there are any near you. I know there's one in your neighborhood. We saw there's it on a walk. Two. Two oh, there's two in your neighborhood. Excited. Yes. 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 I actually did you put, put your books my books. I did. I put my <laughs> books in there. Um, but I took some books out too. They're awesome. I love them. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually yesterday I um I took some books that I've already read and I didn't need any more and some kids' books that Bella's growing out of. And um I went to two libraries that are, are two little public or little free libraries in a neighborhood near mine. And I traded some out so you can, you don't have to return them. Um, they do say like, Hey, if you've got some extra, drop them off um, yeah. and yeah. take whatever you want. So I actually found a hardcover um, copy of mocking Jay, which oh, my daughter awesome. is very much into the hunger Games series. So she was happy. She prefers hardcovers. Um, so I got that. And then I don't have any small children, but I have a huge place in my heart for Berenstain Bear books. And I have a stack probably like this, just of Berenstain Bear books. And so I saw one in there. So I grabbed it to add to the collection. So, um, and I dropped off a few more. So if you have not yet, go to littlefreelibrary.org and look for some little free libraries in your neighborhood. And if there aren't any, think about building one on your property and spreading the love of reading in your neck of the woods. Yes. Is there going to be one in your future? You know what? I I have <laughs> thought about it. I would love to put one in um in my yard because we actually have a sidewalk that goes right behind our house and a playground. So I think it would be perfect to perfect. put one there. Yeah. Um, but I have to get it approved with the homeowners association. So. Oh darn. Yeah, I could totally see you doing that. Anyway. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, the next resource is paperbackswap.com. Now Full disclosure, this is a resource I have not used before, but you can get hardcovers, paperbacks, audiobooks, and textbooks. And it works similar to um, kind of like the little free library where you give some and you take some. And what you would do is you basically list all the books that you have available to share with someone. And then it gives you access to the books that are available. And you basically, if somebody requests one of the books that you have, they send you a notification and then you would send that out to that person. And I think it works on a credit system. Like it gives you so many credits to um, take okay. another book. So okay. that's what I had never heard of that one. I had not heard of that. So I, I plan on checking all of these out. Yes. <laughs> the next suggestion is one of my favorites. My daughter and I, we call it treasure hunting. And what I mean by treasure hunting is going to thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales, and library used book sales. They often, most um, large libraries will have a little corner of their library where they have books for sale that they're no longer circulating. And they're going to be like a buck or two. And at thrift stores, you can get hardcover books for usually under a dollar. Um, so those are totally worth checking out. If you go to a yard sale, pick a stack of 10 books and make an offer. You get a really good bargain. So those are some of my recommendations for um, had, treasure had, hunting. I have used thrift books. I do love them as well. Yes. 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 Well, thrift books is what we're going to talk about next. Oh. Thriftbooks.com is one of my favorite, favorite websites to get books on because they have excellent customer service. Um, they have excellent prices. This stack here um, is... <clears throat> You would think these are, oh, these are just the books I've gotten from thrift. No, these are the books I'm currently reading that I've gotten from thriftbooks.com. And um, like I was saying before, depending on what type of book it is, it will depend on if I get an actual copy of the book or if I do an audio or ebook. Um, if it's something that I want to reference and highlight, I always get a hard copy. Right. So right now I got this book that was, it's out of print. It was done in 19, it was published in 1964 for 95 cents. Five cents, yeah. <laughs> and um, I, I found that on Thrift Books because this was highly recommended. I got um, a Bible study 
from um, Thrift Books and it does have spaces for writing and it was completely brand new for a couple of bucks. Awesome. I got yeah. the book you recommended. Homeopathic yes. self care came in the mail the other day. So I'm really excited. Thrift you only books. ended up paying about five bucks for that, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that's a $35 book, yeah. I believe. Yes. Yep. Anyway. Yeah. That's an excellent part. resource. It. <laughs> yes, definitely go. I got some some newer releases for um, about half the price of what you would pay on Amazon. And they still have the dust jackets and no markings. They're practically brand new. So I highly recommend it. And um, my new favorite, Six Seasons Cookbook, it's just gorgeous. Ah. And it was it, brand new. It still had like the seal on it. And I got oh, it for wow. less than half price. So highly recommend thriftbooks.com. Um, yeah. If you are looking for... Um, I know I mentioned treasure hunting and when you do treasure hunting at like a thrift store, it's difficult to find a specific book. If that's what you're looking for, you can't, you know, search, right. you can't do a search function. You have right. to just look one by one, which can be fun if that's in the, the type yeah. of mood you're in. You're like, let's just see what I find. But if you're looking for a specific used book, um, go to Facebook marketplace. You can often find whole sets of books, like the whole series of hunger games or um, uh -huh. other series like that for great prices. Try Craigslist and offer up as well. Good point. Good point. Um, the next one is something that maybe we could start, Janine. It's uh, starting a book swap with friends. Oh, okay. Everybody brings all the books they've read. You put them all on a table and um, everybody just takes what they want to read next. And you make a plan to do it, I don't know, every couple of months and free books, right? Yes, that would be awesome, especially now that I'm reading more books. <laughs> <laughs> right. Swap. <laughs> exactly. Yes, that would be great. I like that idea. I'll add it the, to the list. <laughs> right. The next idea is slightly less reliable when it comes to getting a regular supply of books, and that is using Goodreads giveaways. And Goodreads is a website where you can go and review books. You can go and find book suggestions. If you're like, I just really want another Amish romance novel. And you would put in whatever <laughs> category and it'll recommend, or you can say, I really loved these books and it'll recommend books based off of that. But they have a section called giveaways. And some of them are print books and some of them are eBooks, but they offer giveaways um, if you will review in exchange. Mm -hmm. So usually to qualify for this, you must have a minimum number of followers on whatever online platform you have, and there's no guarantee that you will be selected. So while they are free, it's slightly less reliable way to get books on a regular basis. I, I will add from the author perspective, I do belong to different groups within Goodreads uh, where I do um, have the opportunity to um, seek honest reviews and I give yeah. my books away in, in the community areas as well. So you can sign up for different groups, you know, for a genre you like to read and, um, see if that group also does, um, um, uh, what they call kind of a discussion thread on reviews. And if you review their book and give them an honest review, obviously you need the book. So they're going to give you the book for free to do that. So. Yeah. yeah. Goodreads has a lot of resources. So if, if you're an author or if you're just a reader, um, go to Goodreads and see what they have to offer because you'll be surprised with all the different features that they have there. Um, a lot of people don't know that Amazon actually also sells used books. So if you're searching for a book and you find it, it will automatically list the new price. That's that's if it's in print right now. Um, they'll list the, the price for a new one. If you click on other sellers and formats, you can find oftentimes really good quality used books. And I've ordered from those before and they come new. You can't tell that they've ever been off the shelf. So, right. um, and they will on Amazon also, they rank the, they'll say like, like new, or they'll say um, yeah. good or whatever. And then you can right. click on that and see what they mean. Might be some highlighting in the margins or whatever. So um, that's a really great option on Amazon as well. You can get used books on Amazon. Yes. I've actually done that for some Bible studies at church. You know, if I, you know, if the book's like 20 something dollars, I'll look to see if they have the used version and I, mm -hmm. I'll get the, you know, slightly used or like new category. And they, they're usually brand new for half yes. like you said, the price. So, yeah. 
Exactly. Well, and another resource for Bible studies, you won't necessarily be able to select a specific Bible study that you're looking for. But if you go to BiblesForAmerica.com, they offer free Bibles to anybody that wants one, as well as varying selections of free Christian eBooks. Mm -hmm. So um, right now, I think they had two different uh, Bible studies available as well as a, um, a Bible. So BiblesForAmerica.com. Also, there's another resource. Now, this one is specific to Muskegon, Michigan, which the reason why I'm talking about it is because I imagine that there are more of these types of programs across the country. So I encourage people wherever you're at to do some research, look into your local area or maybe even start one of these programs, um, because this program, both of my sisters are involved in. They live in Michigan. Um, it's called Embrace Books. And you can find out about it at embracebooks.org. It's a completely 100 percent free bookstore that serves wow. Muskegon, Michigan and the surrounding areas by providing access to a wide range of books for free. No qualifications, wow. no requirements, no sign up, no strings attached. So when I was in Michigan visiting, they do it, I think, every other weekend or maybe once a month. I can't remember. But both of my sisters go and volunteer. And as a volunteer, you get first dibs. And they both my sisters, they, they have a problem. I guess it's not an addiction when it's books, but um, they always walk out with at least a couple of boxes of books. And then inevitably, Bella will get a box of books in the mail. So it's actually it's great. But. I went one time, I walked up and it was summertime. So it was beautiful. Out, so they actually brought all the bookshelves and tables outside. Oh, and wow. we just took our um, shopping bag and they had it even separated by like history or novels or murder mysteries or, you know, wow. reference books or medical, whatever. It was all section. And you just go and take whatever you want, put it in your bag. And they give you a high five on the way out. And that's that's it. Wow. I know it sounds too good to be true, but this is one of the things that is good and true. So look for that in your area or start one. Yeah, um, I like that. And on one last one is right now, we are starting a book bundle giveaway. Two of your books, which incl it includes one hard copy each of career advice for high school students and breathe life into your resume. Um, yes. Janine, are we ready to run that promo yet? Do we know how we're going to have people sign up for that? Well, we can have people sign up here on the podcast in the okay. comment section. So uh, anybody that leaves a comment is entered yes. into the, the drawing? Yes. Yes. That Should we give great. an extra entry if they share this on their channel or on their uh, platform, their social media? I think so. I'm willing to do that. That would be great. Yes. Awesome. So All right. Share, well, I will make, yeah. I will make a post about it later that they have to come to this video, whether it's on YouTube or whether it's on Facebook or is that where does it air anywhere else? Facebook and, um, and YouTube. Yes. So, right. You have to comment. You one of the actually, actually, I'll even include the replay of this on my website. You okay. can click a comment. So if you add a comment to the replay on my website, uh, JanineBennett.com, uh, I'll accept that as well. I'll accept that Excellent. as well. Yay. And let's <laughs> run it until, what do you say, to the end of this month, till June 30th? Yeah, we're going to do it till June 30th. So I want everybody to have an opportunity and I want to give these books away. So make sure you comment on one of the channels we just mentioned and uh, see if you can get this bundle. Yes, we will enter you in to win. And um, just to reiterate, if you share the video, you'll get an extra entry. All right. And um, yeah, so those are the those are all the resources I have right now for hardcovers or hardcovers, hard copies. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. So uh, that's some really good stuff, Melanie. I, I only knew of, uh, I think, two of those. Well, three. I knew of three. Um, but I'm going to check out that paperback swap and I'm going to go back on Goodreads because, you know, I'm I'm always looking from the author side because they do the advertising and stuff. But now I'm going to go more to the giveaways for myself now that I can right. you know, spend some time reading and then hadn't even heard of Biblesforamerica.com. I, 
I probably saw it somewhere and thought, well, you get a Bible and I already have those. Didn't even think right, that right. Bible studies and hello, I write Bible studies. How did I not know that? So anyway, um, good stuff. Good stuff. So what are we going to talk about next? E next. Audiobook. I don't know. Yes. What are you talking about? I'm Let's so do ebooks because I know some okay. people they don't love their house being overrun by yes. hard copy books. They're crazy people, but yes. maybe they prefer the ebook. And you have like hundreds of books in one tiny little device. If that yes, is now, you, then this is that uh, you? Uh, well, I'll tell you, I'm starting to like the ebooks and the audio books. Now, my husband, he's old school. He says he likes the smell of the books. He likes the feel of it and he doesn't like the swiping his butt, but he's now being converted. I, I think he's starting to use his uh, iPad. I put the Kindle app on there. So now he can actually get some books on there yeah. and a couple of the other apps, you know, and now he's actually starting to like it because it saves his spot and all that. stuff. So anyway, so yes. maybe we, we can convert some of the traditional book readers into ebook readers. Let's see. Maybe they'll like yes. some of these resources. Well, coincidentally, some of the resources that I've already mentioned, you can also get ebooks through. Of course, the public libraries are going to have um, access for ebooks as well as Amazon and Goodreads. But here are some more specific apps that are excellent for ebooks. The first one is Hoopla. Hoopla is my all-time most used favorite app, um, not necessarily for eBooks. I use this for audiobooks as well, which we'll talk about in a second. So um, Janine, this is my section just for <laughs> audiobooks. <laughs> Look at that. All right. I have a whole folder just for audiobooks. Hoopla is a really cool app where you can actually get um, music, movies, eBooks, and audiobooks. And this is oh, through wow. your public library. Now, I actually went over to Norfolk and Chesapeake, and I got library cards in those neighboring cities as well. And each library system has a separate catalog for Hoopla, if they're signed up with Hoopla. So okay. by logging in under each of my different library cards, I have access to different catalogs. And of course they overlap a bit and whatever, but um, depending on what library you are signed up with, they the library itself will limit the number of books that you, or I'll just say books, but number of items that you can check out um, each month with Hoopla. So right now Hoopla okay. has a limit of, I believe it is eight. Um, they actually upped the limit to like 15 or something during COVID because um, the libraries were closed down. But typically it's about eight a month, eight or 10. And um, the cool thing about Hoopla versus the next two apps that I'm going to talk about is with Hoopla, there's no wait list ever. You don't have to like sign up and say like, okay, I want the first Harry Potter book, but there's 30 people in front of me. And then you know, right. it's available right away. So, okay. but the downside is you do have a limit for how many that you can check out a month. The next two apps, Overdrive and Libby, to my understanding, over you can find both of them at overdrive.com. Overdrive and Libby, they're apps by the same developer. They just have a slightly different feel. I've heard that Libby is more user-friendly, but they have the same catalog. So you're not going to find something different on Overdrive that you won't have on Libby. It's just preference. And then um, one of like, depending on what kind of device you have, one or the other might be um, a little bit more clunky or a little bit smoother on whatever type of device you have. So Overdrive and Libby, L-I-B-B-Y, you can find both of those at overdrive.com. Now, it's the same way with Hoopla where you log in with your library credentials. The difference, however, is they have a set number of digital copies that are allowed to be checked out at a time. So say you were trying to check out the first Harry Potter book, but there's 30 people in front of you and only 10 copies. You have to wait your turn until one of those become available. But when you sign up to reserve it, it will automatically download and notify you when it's your turn. So um, the other cool thing about Overdrive and Libby, not only can you sign up with your library, but if you are part of the military community, MWR yeah. has a um, has an account with Overdrive and Libby and you sign in with your credentials and then you can get hooked up with that library as well. 
Yes. And I, I was going to add, as you were uh, talking, I was just ready to pounce to say, <laughs> yes, you're military, MWR, if you're, if you're a spouse or a dependent, MWR. But if you're in the military active duty, I know um, all branches of the military, and I'll just speak from the Navy side, since here in Virginia Beach, we're big Navy. Um, a lot of the reading lists, from command level um, mm -hmm. all the way up to CNO's reading lists. Um, a lot of those books, if you go to the Navy website, uh, navy.mil, and you go to the CNO uh, section on the website, you'll see CNO's reading list, and you can actually click on them and find the books in overdrive. So uh, if you wanna get really smart uh, from what leadership is pushing out, check out the reading list, and then go to overdrive and get them for free. And then you'll be in the know on everything they're telling you from the highest levels. <laughs> anyway. Yes, I actually didn't know that that was available until my husband was at a specific command and they told him like, hey, here's the login stuff for overdrive. All the books that we oh. want you to read are on there. And um, so I thought that that was pretty cool. And of course it was stuff like Sun Tzu's The Art of War and um, right. <laughs> On Killing. And so it was like, that kind of stuff. <laughs> so right. Well, I, they, they even have, but I, I remember only because I was the strategic communication specialist at a command that I was uh, a part of. They even had uh, current books. Well, not mm -hmm. so current now. It's a couple years old, but Legacy was a good one by James Kerr. Um, they had a lot of the Simon Sinek, you know, start yes, with a lot of leadership books. Yes. A lot of leadership books. Anything to get you to think different, you know? Um, uh, to for that professional development side, you right? Know, they, it's not just military centric, but also you know helping you for your own uh, for your growth as well. So yeah, yes. great great resource. I'm glad you found this one. I'm glad you're sharing it with everybody. It's a, it's a, one of my favorites. Yeah, it's a really cool um, really cool resource. The next one I want to talk about is called Project Gutenberg. Mm -hmm. It is at Gutenberg.org. And it is access to 60, over 62,000 books that are public domain books whose copyrights have expired. So these are going to be mm. old classics and you are going to find Ooh. some really, really cool um, resources. Now, these are ebooks, and sometimes you will actually see books that have been scanned in and you can see like the really old paper oh, and wow. it's just really nostalgic and you can almost smell the pages as you're reading them digitally. <laughs> <laughs> so Gutenberg.org, oh. Project Gutenberg is a really cool resource. Have you been on that one before? No, I have not. The only thing I know of Gutenberg um, is when you're doing websites and especially WordPress, sometimes they'll, um, the framework is based on a Gutenberg org framework and, and I can't connect the dots, but I've heard the term. <laughs> so now yeah, I, 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 I want to know what the connection is. <laughs> yeah, kind of interesting there. Hmm. Well, I, Jean, I, I do as a researcher, you know, having that mindset, as soon as I saw that and, um, mm -hmm. in our notes for today, and then just hearing you, I'm like, oh my gosh, when's the podcast over? I got to go check I this know. out. So that researcher in me is like, I'm so excited now. So thank you yeah. for sharing that one. I love it. It's a really cool resource, especially if you want access to like some really old copies that are really hard yeah. to access, like that the hard copy. So um, yeah, cool. definitely check that out. So Janine, we talked about the giveaway for your two hard copy books, but I heard that you're part of a few ebook giveaways too, aren't you? Yes. So uh, Book Funnel offers uh, a lot of different opportunities to promote books. And part of the promotions are you can do sales promotions or you can do newsletter sign up promotions. So if you are a, an author and you want to participate with other authors because you're new, you can use the tool within Book uh, Funnel to do that. However, if you're a reader, like we all are, you can find free books. And all you have to do is click on a link and I'll show you what one looks like here. So let me go to my website. <clears throat> See if I can bring that up. So on my website, this pop-up will show up 
and it'll tell you um, what you know is the offer. So in this case, I'm um, part of a collaboration with 36 other authors to offer a selection of free self-help books. There's some book studies on there and some other uh, powerful nonfiction books. Um, all are based on some sort of transformation and they are Christian centric books in this case. Uh, so transformation through God's truth. But anyway, long story, uh, if you just click this link, it should open up and take you to um, that uh, list of books that are being offered by all these different. Um, oh, I saw yours. Oh. There, there I am. <laughs> yeah. Is. But I yes, so. yeah, I think the book cover is the prettiest. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a little biased, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> you can get any kind of book. So here's one on lead, you know, to leadership, the essence of positive leadership. There's, you know, your attitude of gratitude, uh, uncontrolled emotions, brain power, you name it. They have it in here health, wealth, and happiness. Of course, my broken to beautifuls in there, spiritual gifts, time management and goals. I mean, 36 books for free. You just yeah. click on one of the books that you like. Um, I think you have to sign up for the author's newsletter and then you get the free book, free ebook. So that's great, excellent. great opportunity. I do it, you know, as an author to, you know, help promote my books, but also to get free books in the hands of other readers, you know, myself included. I'll go on and I'll read a handful of those books just because yeah. uh, they look so interesting and, and, um, and I want to transform myself through God's word too. So <laughs> I want right. to check. Well, and it's always nice to just expand your repertoire and like learn new authors and support new authors. So that's an excellent yeah. resource for that. And also um, as a reminder, last week's podcast, week 18, you can access that if you go to Janine Bennett's YouTube channel. Um, we were off, we are still running a um, promotion through the end of June, 2021, um, where you can, yes. yes, if you comment on that video, podcast number 18, you'll get a free digital copy of career advice for high school. Right. Students. So a digital copy of this one. Yes. yes. And that does give you access to all of the free resources with it. So free resume templates, um, free listing of all of the different websites I talk about within the book in a, in a document. So you don't have to keep flipping back and forth right. to make it easy. So, yeah. Yes. And we talked about that book in more detail in last week's podcast as well. So if you did not check out that podcast, make sure you go back and watch it and comment on the video so that you can get a free copy of career advice for high school students, yeah. a free digital copy. So, um, yes, that's all I have for you for eBooks. Yay. Okay. That was some good stuff, Melanie. Good stuff. I'm excited. Are you, I hope everybody, are you guys excited out there? I'm so excited. This is great stuff. I can hear the cheers. Here. <laughs> the next part <laughs> is what I am the most excited about. Okay. It is my true love, the audiobook. <laughs> All right. I, well, how many audiobooks, how many books in general do you read? Audio, ebook, paperback? I mean, how many? Well, if I'm being conservative, I probably finish two to three audiobooks a week. Plus the stack of hard books that I have going at any given time. Those take me a bit longer to get through because I don't wow. sit down and read a lot as much as I should. Um, I probably go through 10 to 15 books a month. Wow. So you're blowing my challenge for myself right out of the water. Because I I just put a challenge of let me get through 25 books this year. <laughs> you're like going through 25 in a month. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. More actually, actually. It's pr yeah, probably more than that. Yeah, gosh. So all right, so I've got to catch yeah. up. Yes, I catch up. Get to listening. <laughs> and you know what? I've gotten to the point. I, uh, seriously, I have a problem. I can now. I can no longer listen to audiobooks on regular speed. I usually listen to them between one point two five times faster or one point five times faster. And so they're talking yeah. really fast, like this, and I'm just like. <laughs> my yeah, brain is I, like yes <laughs> i will say when i listen to audiobooks yes i sometimes i will do that 
Now there was one book that I couldn't do that with though. Um, oh, darn it. Now I'm drawing a blank on the book. It was a Corey Ten Boom book and oh, it was the hiding account. place. Yes. The hiding place. I love that the book. accent. I love the book, but the accent on the audio uh, book I couldn't do 1.5 because I'm like, what did they just say? You know, <laughs> like you'd have to listen normal speed on that one. But uh, that was a perfect book to listen to as I was cooking dinner or, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, cleaning the house or whatnot. I really could uh, really get into it and feel like I was there in some cases, uh, which yeah. is what I love about the audiobook because it like brings you into the experience. You know, you're right. like, I'm in the story, you know. Yeah. Well, and it's a nice, I prefer audiobooks because if I'm cooking or something, it, there's nothing stimulating my brain. I cook so much on autopilot, you know, or cleaning the house on autopilot, you know, but you can't sit there and like watch a show while you're like, you know, stirring or whatever you have, but you can listen and then you, it's like you visualize things Well, you know, and so I'll do audio books. I'll download a brand new audio book or usually a new series if I'm going like on a new, on a long road trip. But I made the mistake once I was listening to Patricia Cornwell's books and hers. I don't know if you've ever listened to hers or read hers, but they're murder mysteries and they are they're um, centered around a medical examiner in Richmond, Virginia, which is not far from us, which I drive through on my way up <laughs> north to Michigan. And so I'm listening to this book and it was super creepy about a serial killer <laughs> called the Wolfman or something like that. I don't know. And um, we had to stop for the night for a hotel because it's a two day <laughs> drive if I'm driving by myself. And I was so convinced somebody was out to murder us. <laughs> like I was like so paranoid. Yeah. I'm like, okay, no more murder mysteries on a road trip by myself. <laughs> so right. yeah, be, be cautious when you're you know, on long road <laughs> trip. But so the audiobooks, I prefer audiobooks, like I said, because my day is usually consumed with busy work or brainless tasks like laundry, cleaning dishes, driving, cooking, et cetera, and all the things I can do on autopilot. So I love to listen to audiobooks while I'm doing these tasks. And like I said, two to three books a week on audio. So oh, crazy. that's over a hundred books a year. Easy. All right. Now I got to up my game. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so <clears throat> I like to mix it up though. It's not always, um, you know, uh, novels. I like to do self-help books, but sometimes when I'm particularly stressed out, I'll go through periods of time where I binge on like the Hallmark movie equivalent <laughs> in books yes. or God forbid I get hooked on a series and then I won't stop until I'm done with all of them. But my husband can tell when I don't have a good audio book going on because the house kind of gets like a little disheveled and he's like, all right, do, do you want like, do you want me to buy you some audible credit so you can buy a good book? Because <laughs> so if I don't have a good one going, he can tell. So um, my favorite platforms for free or cheap audiobooks, um, I've already mentioned Overdrive and Libby, um, the same library catalog, just a different app feel between those two. Limited number of people can check out a title at a time, like I said, so you'll be put on a wait list. Um, Hoopla, though, like I said, is my is my most used app. You sign in with your library card and you can get, you know, however many your library allows download for the month. The next one I want to talk to you about, this is new to me. And I thought this was just the coolest idea. I'm going to show you here what it looks like. It's called, I think you would pronounce it LibriVox, L-I-B-R-I-V-O-X. You go to LibriVox.org. It has free public domain audiobooks read oh, by volunteers from around oh. the world. Okay. And while some, I, I did listen to some samples and while some of them are slightly less than perfect because they're not professionals, there's such a certain charm that comes from being read to by someone doing it just because they love yeah. to read to others. So like, listen to this. Um, I love the adventures of Sherlock Holmes. I've listened to the complete works a few times, but listen to this. Ready? Let's see if you can hear it. Oh, let's see. Um, Is it going to play? Oh, hold on. It's playing in my in my AirPods. <laughs> Here we go. Let's try that again. It was not that he felt any emotion akin to love for Irene Adler. Irene all Adler. Isn't it? Yeah. Like, I don't like you just want to listen yeah. to her all day? <laughs> and, that, so, and that's just an everyday person who's just doing, reading it. Not a yes. professional. 
Yes. I mean, she sounds excellent. Yeah. (laughs) I haven't played around. I haven't played around with this one enough to know if you can um, change the speed of it. But, uh, oh, you, I see a little rabbit in the corner. So I'm guessing that you see it right up, uh, right up there. There it is. I'm yeah. guessing you can change the speed. So yeah, she, she read a little slow for me, but um, so LibriVox, and you can also actually volunteer and read some of your favorite public domain books and make them audiobooks. So you could get books Ooh. off of like Gutenberg, the Gutenberg website yes. and read them for LibriVox. So oh, um, okay. <clears throat> the next resource is Christian Audio. Dot com. They offer a free pre-selected audiobook each month. So if you go to their website and you click free download, it's a tab right at the top. Okay. Um, you just sign up with your email and you get access to um, whatever free audiobook they're offering for that month. And it's lifetime access. You download it. It's yours forever. You don't just have to listen to it that month. That. It's yours forever. You get the free book every month, whether or not you're a paid subscription member. You can also use Christian audio to buy Christian audiobooks. Um, okay. I, and I'm not sure, I don't think that they have a subscription, um, like some of the other audiobooks do, but you can just buy them. Um, but the free book every month, I've been downloading it for years and I still have a number that I've, I haven't listened to yet. Um, this month they're offering the King James version, um, new Testament. This is the first time oh, that I've wow. seen a Bible for free on their right. site. Some right. of the past titles include The Gospel's Power and Message by Paul Washer, Don't Give Up by Kyle Eidelman, and Love Lives Here by Maria Goff. So these are, like I said, books are yours to keep forever. You just have to add it to your library before the end of the month. So you sign up for the emails okay. and you'll get a reminder each month of the free book on the first of the month. So have okay. you, did you know I, about that? No, I did not know that. So I'm like, okay, okay. I'm like <laughs> getting all excited over here. All right. Yeah, and they you have, have really beautiful, um, I really like the simplicity of their app. So um, here is all of the books that I have through them. Um, oh my, some of these cool. I purchased, but this is the the books wow. that I have on the cloud. And then you can download them to your device as well. If you, if you're, you know, traveling somewhere or on an airplane where you don't have, yeah. you know, access, you can just download certain books to your, to your actual phone. So that is Ooh. christianaudio.com. I really like their site. Um, and then the next one is Audible. A lot, most of us have heard about Audible. It's partnered with Amazon. You can choose from some monthly memberships. One membership is $8 a month and you get unlimited access to thousands of originals, audiobooks, and podcasts. But for $14.95 a month, you get all of that plus one credit for a premium selection, including new releases. So even if the book is $40, you just use, you spend yeah. one credit. So um, I do have one. Audible. That one yeah. I do have and I love it. I love it. Um, I got it because we were traveling to Georgia and my husband heard from a friend to read, you know, to listen to this particular audiobook, which actually was called Boys in the Boat. Oh, it's amazing. It took us all the way to Georgia. Um, I used, while we were in Georgia visiting family, I'm like, let's go sit out in the car. I want to hear more of the story. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so we were the ones who would always offer to go to the store. Oh, we're going to go to the store. You know, and the store would be like 10, 15 minutes away, just so I could hear the, the rest of the story. Cause I, I, it was so enthralling. I just wanted to keep listening. So anyway, boys in the boat, it's a really good one. Um, well, I just searched boys in the boat on hoopla ah. and they actually have um, some different ebook versions of it. Um, I'm trying to see if they have the boys in the boat. They have summary of the boys in the boat. Oh. So if you wanted to just read the summary and then you could have something to talk about at a cocktail party without actually reading ah. the whole thing, you could do that. Oh, Janine. What? I forgot. There's one other resource that I didn't list. It is called, I believe it's called Headway. Let me look really quick. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I, this is one that it's brand new and okay. it is a summary you get. Let's see. Headway. I had downloaded it and then I deleted it because my phone was acting up. Okay. Headway. It's self growth. It The, the app looks like a little ladder like that. And okay. what it is, 
is it's access to condensed versions of popular self-help books. So like how to win friends and influence people. It will condense it down into like a 10 to 15 minute audio book okay. summary. And it'll basically say chapter one, this chapter tells you blah, 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 blah. And these are the author's main points, whatever. So if you, you know, if everybody's talking about this book that's right now and you don't have time to read it, go to Headway. And okay. I believe it's relatively inexpensive. I can't remember it, what the- Let me look, let me see if I can bring it up. Uh, Headway, is it like .com or? Um, let's see. It doesn't, I don't see a website on this, but um, just search Headway app. Maybe you can find it that yeah, way. Yeah, let's do Headway app. I see it's, it is definitely okay. on the app store. Headway app dot, oh no, that's not it. <laughs> Headway reading app, maybe. I know you can get it on uh, iPhone apps for sure, because I just saw it there. Yes. Um, so it's, I'll just type the name, even though we don't know headway. It's app.get-headway.com. App.get-headway.com. Oh, get yes. All right. Tell me if I got this right. <laughs> we'll see folks. We're, we'll get it right. Is this what it looked like? App.get-headway.com. Yes, that's correct. And okay, so it's going to come up go. like this. The best books in 15 minutes. So um, the seven habits of highly effective people, you can listen yes. to it or you can read. I think you can also read the summary, but um, I can't remember what book it was I wanted to, um, I've been hearing about, but mm -hmm. I oftentimes don't have the bandwidth for 12 hours of this is how to be a more effective communicator. I'm like, just right. give me the point. Maybe that's why right. I'm a great, a great communicator. I'm like, let's get to the point. Yes, yes <laughs> so, you are. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, 15 minutes headway um, app. Okay. You can get, you can listen to all these excellent self-help books. And really, if you're one of those people that's like, get to the point, I don't want the fluff. I want to know so I can just start working on these tips right away. That is the app for you. And I believe there is a small monthly fee, like I want to say it's like eight or nine bucks and you have access to all those. So um, th that's that's the the totality of my list for you. Awesome. That is so great. So you told us about, you know, traditional books, where to find them. You told us about eBooks and gave us some, you know, all these great links. You talked about audio books. This is great. This is so you mentioned your favorite platforms were Overdrive, Hoopla. My favorite is Hoopla and Hoopla. I think Christian Audio. And Christian Audio. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh yeah. Because you said Overdrive, you kind of have a wait list sometimes because they can only check out yeah. so many. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. I like, um, now that I know there's, there's free ones, I don't know if I'm going to keep my Audible uh, subscription. I do pay the $14.95 or $99 or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. My husband does use it too. So I, I guess I'll have to talk to him about it. We do love it. But if there's all these other resources, I guess I'm going to be checking out some freebies because yeah. so I can I, use that money. <laughs> yeah. Audible is kind of like my last resort. I will use Audible if um like because it's a little bit more expensive than the option other options but i use it as a last resort if there's a book i just cannot wait to read like a new release and, and or i can't find it anywhere else um i will use one of my monthly credits and buy it but if you don't want to do a monthly subscription you can purchase like i think three yeah. tokens yeah. at a time or three credits at a time yeah. And I'm not sure if you have to be a member for that, but I think yeah, you it does get a little pricey though. You don't get as much of a break when you do it that route. Cause I it's did check into that. It's $15 a credit. Yeah. Yeah. And that, you know, that didn't seem um, optimal. Right. <laughs> I guess that's the word I was trying to. Look. Like I said, I'm that's like, my last Ooh. resort. If there's a right. book I just cannot live without. Um, right. If it's a $40 yeah. book and I can get it for 15. Okay. Yes. But if it's, you know, no, I'm not gonna write. There's yeah. a slight sneak around that you can do to make it a little bit cheaper. Oh, and I'm gonna tell you everything. It, oh my gosh. It, so what it is doesn't that? work every time, but oftentimes if you go onto Amazon and purchase the book as in as on a as a Kindle version, or if you have Kindle Unlimited, you yeah. can sometimes get the book for free. There's a small option that says 
Uh, it's either called Whisper Sync or you can add the Audible version. Yes, you should for right. three or four bucks. So if you buy the that. Kindle for like two dollars and then add the audiobook version for three dollars, you've paid five bucks instead of a fifteen dollar. Yes. And, and then you have two versions. Yeah. You're so, right. And that's a good point. You know, if you don't know if you want to do an Audible subscription or if you even like Audible, they don't they do a 30 day free trial or something? I think that's how we signed up for it. Yes. Yes. 14 you day or 30 day. You get some sort of free trial. So you get a free download, I think is what it is. You get a f one free download um, before it. There, just to there try before definitely it. something so you can try it out. Yeah. As you were talking, though, I did have a question. So, with all of the other um, ebook and well, not ebook, audiobook, audiobook, can I use them all in my car? As long as it's Bluetooth, right from my phone. Oh yeah, I can listen to them all in my car, right? Okay. Yeah, good. of course. <laughs> uh, I mean, depending on like if you have Signal, all the apps you can download whatever you're listening to to your phone. So. Mm -hmm just think of that ahead of time. And if you're going to be somewhere where you don't have great reception, just download it before you go. That's Good my point. only recommendation, but yeah, you should be able to listen to all of them in your car. There yeah. are actually some podcasts where, and I, I tried searching for them yesterday and I ran out of time. I had to, I had an appointment, but um, there are some podcasts where people are actually reading, so, taking the time and doing like, um, I think it's called like bedtime stories or something like that, where they will spend an hour reading some of these free public domain books. And um, yeah, you can get some of those on the um, podcast apps as well. Oh, wow. Awesome. Awesome. Well, eventually we're going to take this podcast uh, to Apple and Spotify and some of the others. So that is in the works. Um, so I'm excited about that. And maybe you can listen to us as an audio right from your car <laughs> while you're well, driving. Maybe, on a maybe we'll know. read one of your <laughs> books. <laughs> there you go. I want you to read one of my books. You're so Done. animated and and you are a professional. So that would be great. <laughs> I did used to do voiceover work. So that would be fun. All right. Well, this has been fantastic. I know I learned something. I hope you guys feel like you learned something too. Um, and let us know, you know, if you check out some of the resources Melanie stated, tell us about it. I'd love to hear your experience. And if you want us to explore any further, bring them up on the screen and share. Yeah, and talk if there's more something, about that, them, you know. something that we didn't know about that I didn't mention, I want to know. Yeah. Let me know. Maybe Absolutely. we'll do a part two. Part two. I'm down. That's right. How's that? Am I cool now? <laughs> I'm down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, Melanie, thank you so much for sharing the wonderful resources with us and for being on the show. And uh, always appreciate having my podcast partner. It's and always fun. Uh, I think that's it for today. So next week, friends, uh, we will not have a podcast. I'm taking a break next week, but join us again the following week, which I believe is June 24th. We will have another special guest on. Um, I will post what the topic is. We're talking through this. This particular person actually is an author, a photographer, a serial entrepreneur, you know, so I'm still hashing out what she really wants to share because she has so much. So um, it's going to be a surprise, but I'm going to share with you ahead of time so you know to tune in. Anyway, same time, Thursday, 11 a.m. And with that, I guess I will close there. That's all I got. Thanks so, so much. It was so much fun. Thanks for joining us. See you later, Melanie. Bye. Bye. <laughs>